my YouTube channel. My name is Crystal and in this week's video I will be showing you guys how I achieved this watch and go. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, keep on watching. I am going to begin by removing my shower cap from my freshly washed hair. I normally keep the shower cap on just to retain the moisture until I'm ready to style. Now as you can see I have some hair loss in the front and this is due to postpartum shedding. If you saw my 4 month postpartum update you would have known that I have suffered from postpartum shedding. It is getting better though. As you can see it's mostly visible around the perimeter of my hair. I normally section my hair into two parts because I find that it's easier this way to do my wash and go. I'm currently using a spray bottle to add a bit more moisture to my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and section a small portion at the back or at the nape of my head. I'm gonna pin away the excess hair and I'm going in with my As I Am Leave-In Conditioner. Now this is the conditioner I normally use when I do not want to get that white residue. I normally pair it with the Aunt Jackie's elongating curling gel. I find that this combination helps me not to have that white residue. So after I work the leave-in conditioner in, I go in with my Jamaican black castor oil and I use about that much. And I do the same. I just work it in. I rake it in with my fingers through my hair. Of course, from time to time, you will definitely see me going in with my comb to detangle the sections whenever I feel necessary. I'm now going to go in with my Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink elongating curling gel i forgot to show the amount that i used but don't worry we'll see it closer to the end you'll see the demonstration again and i pretty much just rake the product through and as you can see my curls are popping they're very defined these two products work very very well with each other at least for my hair so I'm just going to pretty much continue this process throughout my entire head. And just for reference, the texture of my hair is more fine. Um, the type here, I think it's type 4. I'm not sure exactly which 4. I think it's actually a mixture because the hair at the back of my head is definitely different from the hair at the front. So I'm not really sure but I'm pretty sure I'm in the type 4 category. Of course, there will be times when you come up on clumps of hair. All you need to do is just separate it with your fingers and you're good to go. Um, I also want to add that there are other combination of products that I really do enjoy. But for me, this one is ideal or this combo is ideal when I'm just running out the house and I don't have time to wait until my hair dries. I don't like to have that white residue on my hair when I'm going out. So if I'm doing that, I normally drop a this combination. But I do plan to do a favorite hair product video in the near future. So you can look forward to that where I'll go more in depth on the products that I use. Right now, I am just doing the last section. So you can see the process once more. This is the amount of gel that I use. And of course, I may go in for more product depending on how my hair feels you just need to put enough that your fingers slide through the hair and all the strands feel evenly coated with product now looking back at this footage i do see a little bit of white residue in my hair and i feel like in this section the deep conditioner wasn't washed out properly and that's the cause for that but no worries it disappeared in a couple seconds you notice that the right side is a bit longer than the left but of course it worked itself out and this is the finished product this is what my wash and go is looking like curls are very defined now this is the style i typically do when i do a wash and go most of the time it's kind of like a fro hawk i feel like it's very flattering for my face um yeah so this is the style i choose most often and all you need is two slide clips just pay attention to the way i put the clips in because this is very very vital in keeping your hair in position and not having it sliding out now i'm moving over to the other side and that's pretty much it i just pull and tuck where i need to until i get the shape that i desire So 
there you have it. This is my typical wash and go and this is the style that I do most often after I have completed my wash and go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, subscribe. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next one.